How you doing? David Taub here, co-creator of NextLevelGuitar.com. What's up? I hope all's well, and I hope your guitar journeys are going famously. So on the D major, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that one finger bar on that fifth fret and then hammer, so that down hammer, and then we're gonna do an up stroke, and then two downs. Get that first. And then we're gonna do a down chuck, up chuck, and a down stroke. And again, you just loosen pressure. So instead of squeezing, just loosen pressure. Keep your finger on the chord. Down, up, down. Down, chuck, up, chuck, down. Right? Put them together. Right? Now, to get back to the E minor 7th chord, while you're transitioning, just to keep the rhythm flowing, just do a down and an up chuck while you're moving the chord. All you have to do is just, as you're loosening pressure, go into the chord. You hear it? As I'm moving to get to that E minor 7th, throw in that down up chuck. I'll try to do really slow. Do you hear that? That down up before I got back to the E minor seven, that's important, that'll keep your timing, keep your rhythm going. And you see sometimes I'm changing how much oomph I'm putting into each downstroke or each chuck and that builds dynamics you could start off slow go for, there's so much you could do you know as you get these more of these techniques under your belt right and then what you have to do is kind of forget all about the techniques and just play from the heart and uh, you'll be fine but you got to kind of you know put your time in the woodshed and learn them get them so they're kind of like in your subconscious and then it'll flow out of you and you won't even have to think about it, right? So there's the first two chords in that cool little progression and then it will change maybe the, as the vocal melody changes. We'll go to that A minor and the G and I'm going to do very similar things on the A minor. Same thing. You know, same pattern. Down hammer up, down up chuck to that G chord. Now, you might want to change the way you're chucking on the open chord because you can't just loosen pressure to chuck because you're going to hear that open A string ringing and the open E string. That's the thing with open chords, it's kind of harder to get that chucking sound. The bar chord is easier. That's why I taught you that first. See? This head is more than just a hat rack, my friends. On the, uh, on the open chord chucking, what you have to do is it's all in this part. It's all in the, the right hand, in the, in the pick hand. What I'm doing is I'm fretting the chord, obviously, but how I'm getting that sound is, yeah, you can loosen pressure, but you still want to mute the strings, and you come down with the pick hitting the strings at the same time this part of your hand does. So you get that sound. Now this is going to take a little while to get the hang of it. At first it's not going to sound really good and loud, but just patience, stay with it five minutes a day and you'll get it. And just practice that. Even if... Notice the hand hits the strings at the same time as the pick. It's all right here. I'm not even using this hand. That's the sound you want to get. Okay? Now what I was doing to kind of make the G chord a little more interesting is I was doing a hammer on. I'm keeping my other fingers on the chord and with the first finger I'm going to hammer from the open A string to that second fret, that's a B note, on that G string, on that G chord. 
Why am I thinking G string? Ah, uh, did I just say that? right so it's just uh, a couple of techniques that you could do with as easy as two chord progressions now obviously you could take these techniques and you could blast them over all your playing and try them in all your different progressions or songs to add interest and flavor and texture and spice and all that good stuff and keep building up that laundry list of things that you could do well that you're taking chords you're taking notes and you're doing things with them that are musically interesting right that's what it's all about and then you're laying on top of that cool vocal melodies and vocal lines you know if you're singer songwriter or if you're an instrumentalist not you're coming up with melody stuff that carries its own on the instrument that takes you through the song so i hope you enjoyed that i'm david taub co-creator of nextlevelguitar.com be sure to click on that link below in the text box below this video and i'll send you some you know video lessons um and an ebook that you might find useful for free check it out subscribe to our youtube channel click on that subscribe button and uh, you'll be notified when we have more videos coming out. And go to our website, nextlevelguitar.com, where you'll learn tons and tons and tons of techniques. On the website, there's over almost a thousand lessons, acoustic, electric, for beginners, intermediates, advanced players, all genres of music. It's a complete structured guitar curriculum. You'll love it. I've taught thousands and thousands and thousands of students all over the world using that website. And um, it's a great tool to get your guitar playing to the next level. Or if you've never even played guitar, there's lessons that take you right from the start. Uh, never even picked up a guitar before. It's a structured curriculum. So enjoy it. Take care. Remember, keep putting these guitars in your hands every day, even if it's only for 10 minutes. It makes such a big difference. Just practice that chucking while you're sitting there on the, watching TV, watching your favorite show, right? Or waiting for your dinner to cook. Practice that little hammer-on technique or these chords. You know, so much of this is muscle memory. So you really don't even have to be, you know, you could be watching TV or, 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 or waiting for something to download on your computer or, you know, listening to some other music, but you got that going, right? And you really work that dexterity, that strength, that muscle memory. You'll get it. Stay positive. You rock! See you soon. David Taub, in closing, nextlevelguitar.com. Take care. Rock on.